Watch us live stream at twitch.tv slash Inez27. Live stream times are Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. Follow us on Twitter at SeemsGoodMagic. And please support my eBay store by going to SeemsGoodMagic.com, clicking on the icon, and purchasing some play sets and singles. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here with another 8-4 Return to Ravnica draft. And what do we have? We've got Varel as our rare, who's decent, but not that amazing. It's okay. We also have Zertad Druid, Thrashing Moss Dog. You know, I almost like Moss Dog more, because it's not as color committing as Zertad Druid. But Zerta Druid does ramp. It's a good spell. Burns as well. It says Scavenge and Reach. Really good ability set. It's well costed. Um I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Moss Dog. Take the monocolor card. Wow. All right. Another Zerta Druid, but there's also War Leader's Helix. Helix is a pretty insane card. It's a pretty good sign that maybe I should just take Boros. Um, they took the rare over it, though, so it's it's definitely not cut and, you know, cut and dry yet. Uh, let's just take the War Leader's Helix, though. I love that card. It's phenomenally strong. Very good other strong cards in here, but nothing on the same power level as the Helix. Okay, pack three, we have Mara Tandris that we're not going to pick, but there's also Rakdos Drake, Smelt Ward Gatekeeper, um, Feral Animist, which lets us play our Moss Dog, perhaps. Let's take the Animist. It's potentially good. Alright, now we can take Mastiff, Maka, Guildgate, Wolf Rider. All are very good. I think we probably want the Maka. It works best with the Animist. 4 mana, 10 damage. Guildgate would be nice too, but I think we want the Maka. I like the Blood Rush. It's also a hill giant. Massive's fine too, but I'd rather have the Maka. All right. Now, that's some pretty solid black picks, I guess. We can also take Maze Abomination, but perhaps we want some fixing. So, let's take the Boros Clue Stone. And yeah. Wow, it's a fairly late Jester, but there's also Weapon Surge and Armored Wolf Rider. I think we're just going to take the Wolf Rider. He's an awesome, awesome creature. Underappreciated. Usually goes later than he should. Okay, the black cards are continuing. But still have good cards, a couple good cards in white as well. And we have the clue stone for fixing. Let's just take a second clue stone here. All right, take the Riot Piker. Should be okay. Could also take the Steeple Rock. Maybe that's better. Yeah, let's take Steeple Rock. More likely to play it. All right, table the Mastiff. I'll take that over the Weapon Surge. Although Weapon Surge is very good, I think I'd rather have the Bear. Okay, here, easily taking the Protect. It's proven itself to be a fairly good trick. Um, we can take the Mending Touch. You know, I haven't played it yet, but I still think it's it's probably playable. I don't think we need Dirty. It's a little too pricey. Table that other Armored Wolf Rider. 
pretty happy about that. It's an excellent five drop. All right, take the leave decree. So pack two is where we're going to want to clean up on both Boros and and uh, Gruul. And then in the return to Ravnica pack, we'll get our Selesnya picks. So we've got some pretty good uh, things going for us right now. All right. Good pack for us. We got Fire Fist Strikers, Sun Home Guild Mage, War Mine Infantry, Slaughter Horns, tons of playables. We're just gonna take the Sun Home. It's an excellent creature. Generates more for you as well as it boosts your creature's power. Fire Fist Strikers, very, very good too, but I'd rather have the Guild Mage. Wow. Sepulchral and Alms Beast. Foil pack two, pretty sick. We're just gonna slam the halberdiers pretty happily. It's also miming slime, which looks pretty acceptable in here, but I think I'd rather just have the halberdiers. It's an awesome two-drop creature. Okay, so good black cards. Still would like to make green work in here. All right, I guess we're taking the Ivy Lane. It's probably a little more reasonable than the Disciple, just because we look like we don't need green till a little bit later. Okay, now we can do Act of Treason. We can also do Night Watch. Looks like we have enough five drops already. Let's take the Act. Act can come up huge sometimes, especially with Battalion. All right. Now we have Syndic, who I think we want over the Martial Glory. We already have a, a few tricks in removal, so I'd rather have the Extort. Urbis Protector is a good finisher, and Bomber Core is fine as well. Let's take Syndic. Okay, next. Uh, I think we're just slamming the Scorch Walker here. It's pretty playable. All right, we can take a second act. I don't think I'm opposed to that. Act gets pretty crazy in multiples. Mark for Death's fine too, but we could probably play both the acts. All right, could take the guards. I think we're just taking the skin brand. If we're going to make this act of treason style deck work, then let's just load up on some cheap creatures. Smite looks like it's totally reasonable in here. Not as good with aggressive decks, but fine nonetheless. All right, let's take the Righteous Charge. We may be light in green and mostly just a Boros deck. And then next pack, we'll just hope to pick up some white, you know, creatures, mono white creatures, mono red creatures from Rakdos and Azorius and stuff like that. So we'll try that out. Riot Gear, maybe. But so far, it looks fine. These clue stones would have been better as Selesnia clue stones, but that's not too huge of a deal. Uh, none of these cards really matter. Got the bomber core back. I'm pretty happy about that. We may be dipping out of green as much as we can. I guess it depends on how this last pack looks, but we actually have quite a few playables already for just straight boros i don't think i think we're we actually are going to end up splashing for green most likely um but we don't have much fixing so i'd prefer not to we look like we're fairly color intensive so i'm hoping to just pick up some good mono white and red creatures out of this this next pack like sunspire griffins and i'd settle for vassal souls stuff like that uh, Keening Apparition Arrester, all of those very good as well. Even Civic Saber's playable in here, but no, let's let's just go for some bears for now to play with these active treasons. So let's take the let's take the Arrester. I like it more than the Apparition right now. I'd rather have the Detain to get rid of a blocker. Okay, now Justiciar looks way good. Let's 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 go ahead and hide these. Let's hide this thing, this, these two, and this. And let's look at what we are for straight boros. Seventeen, pretty close. All right, let's just really hope we can get enough playables to just make two color work. Otherwise, we may have to splash for armored wolf riders, which would be a little bit awkward. But 
Yeah, it's like the Justice Year. Hope to wield the Sentry. Um, okay, now we can take... Cobble Brute. Also Batterhorn. I guess I'd rather have the Cobble Brute. A little bit cheaper. If we can keep this mana curve low enough, I can get away with 16 lands easily. Okay, Trickery is, is actually playable. Believe it or not. Um, but Avenging Arrow is playable as well. And Avenging Arrow is probably more playable, so let's take that. Can take the Instinct, too. Wow, and Eyes in the Skies, and Keening Apparition. Do, do we want to go... We only have 12 creatures currently. Alright, I guess we're taking the Apparition, then. Eyes in the Skies is good, too, but let's just get Infinite Bears. Sentry, Fencing Ace. What's our buff spells? We have Protect... Righteous Charge. Probably not enough. Let's just take the Sentry. Um, Dyna Charge. It's probably fine. Otherwise, Sundering Growth for sideboard. But let's let's take the Dyna Charge. I'm trying to think if I'd rather play that or Righteous Charge. I'm actually not sure. I think Righteous Charge is probably better. Let's, let's take the Augur Spree, then. Or Giant Growth, maybe, because we have the other green cards we could potentially splash for, maybe. I mean, what we have right now is very good. It's just a matter of a little bit short on creatures. Hmm. Nothing really playable out of here. For us, at least. Guess that it's an option, maybe. It's splash, but not likely. Um, yeah, a little bit short. A little bit short on creatures. We may be splashing green for those wolf riders. And then I'll, I'll play 17 lands. Uh, I'd rather have the Cobble Brutes, and we're we're definitely a deck that wants to be getting in, so let's let's take the Cobble Brute. I mean, we might be a 17 land deck anyway. We have quite a few four drops, and um, I I mean, I definitely want to make sure we can hit all of our land drops. We do have Sun Home Guild Mages of Mana Sync and Syndic of Tides as a pseudo Mana Sync as well. So um, this is a perfectly acceptable 23 card deck. Let's see if we wheel any potential upgrades to it. Hmm. Uh, maybe. Not likely, though. Just in case. Okay. And maybe, but not likely. And second line. All right, Fencing Ace is going in. He can go in. All right, so I may be playing 16 lands. I I mean, yeah, I could. Between Protect and Serve, Righteous Charge, Sun Home Guild Mage, Rubble Belt Maka, I do have a few ways to boost Fencing Ace. And yeah. So, I mean, if I top out at 5 and it's one card, if I really just top out at 4, I do feel like if you top out essentially at four mana and you're a two color deck i would say you can get away with 16 lands in our case we do have quite a few four drops but also keep in mind this is a blood rush spell this is a blood rush spell so we have a we have a pretty low curve i think this is pretty easily a pretty easily a 16 land deck i want that though this thing that this this all the two drops. Lee of Decree, we're definitely going to play that. Steeple Rock. Alright, so this is our 24. No fixing, but we are just straight two color. And we're fairly even. We need to see both, so we'll just even it up. No thank you. Okay. Yeah, cool deck. Uh, definitely looks pretty strong. Double Act, million two drops, 16 lands for efficiency. All right, I'll see you around one.